this session's topic is memory chip organization how the memory it may be ram may be rom how this memory have got fabricated how these chip organizations are being made so actually we are having two categories for that one is the 2d organization another one is the two and half d organization so let me discuss them one by one i'm having the suitable diagram with me so i shall discuss with my diagrams so now this is my 2d organization and this one is my two and half d organization and what are the advantages disadvantages where i should go for 2d and 2 and half d i shall discuss everything here in this session so now you see this is a decoder let us suppose it is having three bits as input you know that decoder is a combinational circuit which will have n number of input lines and to the power of n number of output lines and depending upon the combination of the input one of the output lines will be selected at a time that is that is the basic and fundamental logic of a decoder circuit so here we are having three input lines and we are having eight output lines are here so depending upon the input bit combination one of the output lines will be enabled and with that particular output line we are having say eight vertical lines we are having say eight vertical lines are there so now what will happen so it might be 8 might be 16 might be 24 so that is not dependent on this decoder size so the word that means word means the number of bits in this particular line will be coming out through this io circuit whether the bits will be coming out or going in obviously that will be decided by this control line read or write so if the control line is enabled for read then the data will be coming out through the data to the data lines and if it is right then data will be going in to the respective word to be written to get overwritten so that is the issue so we are here we are having to do the part of n number of words if we have n number of select lines in this decoders input so to the part of n number of words and we can have m number of n and m they are not related so m number of output lines through this column io circuit we know that for the memory read and memory write, we are having two registers. One is called memory address register in short MAR. And the one is your memory data register in short, it is MDR. While performing read operation, MAR will be containing the address. From the MAR, the address will be coming to the decoder input. The respective word will get selected depending upon the combination. And the output thus obtained, if I select it in the read mode, will be coming to the MDR, memory data register. In case of memory write, the MAR will be containing the target memory locations address. So from the address, from the address register, that means from the MAR, memory address register, the address will be coming to the decoder's input, respective word will get selected. And here I shall put the write control mode enabled. And then these data lines, through these data lines, the respective bits will be going to the respective word to get written. So in this way, the memory read and memory write will take place for 2D organization. So let us come for the 2 and half D next. So in case of 2 and half D organization, we are having the same kind of scenario, but here we are having some column bits. So in the column also, we are having one decoder. So in the column also, we are having one decoder, not the column I/O circuit. So depending upon the bits in the input and depending upon the bits in this particular decoder's input, so one of the output lines will get selected and one of the output lines will get selected. Let us suppose it will select this particular cell. It will select this particular cell. So this line has got enabled and say this line has got enabled. So this particular location has got selected. So from that very location, I should say that it is a bit position at a jun at the junction of these two. One is the uh, one is the row line, row line, and the one is the column line. So at the intersection, we are having one bit. So at that very bit position, this read-write control line will decide whether I'm writing. Then through bit in, the bit will come and that will be written here. If this control line selects, I'll be going for the reading operation. Then from this bit, the data will be coming out, the data bit will be coming out to this bit output line. So what will happen? Each and every location will contain a single bit. 
So now, how many words do we require? How many bits of word per location? 64. So 64 such parallel circuits will be working. 32. 32 such parallel circuits will be working. So now let us go for the comparisons. Here the number of column output lines are fixed, hardware fixed. But here, how many bits we are going to get against a single word that we shall, we shall decide because that number of circuits will be working in parallel. And here you see the full address bits will be divided into two part. So this is some bits will be coming down here, some bits will be coming down here. So say we are having six bits address. So three bits here and three bits here. So six bits means how many combinations? Six bits means 64 combinations. So three bits means how many rows? Eight rows. Three bits means how many columns? Eight columns. So eight rows and eight columns. So how many junction points? 64. So in this way you are getting the 64. But here all the six bits will be applicable here. So 64 horizontal lines will be coming out. So it will, it will be requiring more complicated hardware compared to this one. So that is one advantage. Second advantage here you, here you see. I told you that it will be requiring less hardware, less circuitry, less gets. Next advantageous point is that here in this particular circuit as we are having lesser number of hardwares and uh, logic gets and so on. So the pin, the IC pin will be lesser number of. So easy to implement, easy to implement, easy to fabricate. And next one is that as we are getting from each and every circuit we are getting a single bit depending upon the row number and the column number we are getting a single bit so error correction code can be very much applicable on this on this and we can do the corrections we can for the, go for the rejections we can go for the corrections individually for each and every bit that is not possible here because you are getting all these bits in a bulk and the last one is that the main advantage main difference i'm going to tell you for most of the ROM circuits, we go for the studio organization and in the current trend, in the most of the RAM circuits, we will be going for 2 and half D memory organization. So that is the issue. So 2 and half D memory organization for most of the RAM circuits and 2D organization for most of the uh, your ROM circuits. So this is the memory chip organization. So in this particular session, we have discussed 2D and 2 and half D memory uh, organization in case of 2d all the address bits will be applicable to the input of this column uh, sorry row wise decoder here the address bits will be divided into two parts and some of them will be applicable to the row wise decoder and some of them will be applicable to the column wise decoder respectively a single cell will be selected from the single cell i shall be getting a single bit in or out depending upon the read write mode through this bit in and bit out lines and in this way, this sort of circuits will be working in parallel for the multiple bits word size. So I think that your conception has got cleared. Draw these circuits in your exam copies if such question come in future. Thanks for watching.